Hi, my name is Tony from Reality Solutions, and today we're going to take you through the lovely task of a year end. Now, of course, before we do a year end, the prerequisites are you must ensure that you have a backup of your data. I cannot say that enough. That's very important. Make sure you have a backup of your data before you do any year end processes. So what we're going to do is just cover a few things on this before we actually run the year end. So before you do a year end, obviously, you need to make sure all your periods are closed for all Sage 200 modules. And that includes reconciling your debtor and creditor accounts and producing any reports that you may need. Also, make sure all nominal period ends have been carried out up to the final period and make any corrective postings. This has to be done before the periods are closed. So make sure you do that before you're on the year end. And of course, then print your final child balance and print your profit and loss and balance sheet financial statements. You can either do that straight to the printer or you could actually do them to the spooler, which on screen, if you go to there, you can actually select where they're actually going to. So you can actually say whether it's going to printer, spooler or preview. If you want to go to spooler, it just stays on the system and you can just look at them whenever you want. OK, so once you've done that, we can then actually we've produced all those reports. What's going to happen during the year end is your balance sheet will retain the accumulative figures and an entry is made to the accumulated profit nominal account. Now, if you want to know why that is, you can actually see which account it's going to. I'm just going to say no to that save. So I'm just going to go to my uh, nominal ledger, utilities and into ledger setup then my default nominal accounts and I go to the balance sheet tab when it comes up on screen and within there there's one called accumul accumu accumulated profits and that's the account that it's going to so just be aware of where that's going of course when you're on the year end as well the profit and loss reset account balances to zero so of course your balance sheet accounts will retain the accumulative figures your profit and loss ones will reset balance to zero when you've done year end, a report is produced showing the profit and loss values transferred to the accumulated profit nominal account. And all your nominal ledger accounts will then be set for the new financial year and set to period one. Now, of course, quite obvious is that once you've run the year end routine, you can only make postings that affect the last year's balances using the previous year's journal entry routine. So, of course, if you do year end and then you realize it's something from the previous year, you would then have to do this transaction through the previous year journal entry. That is found, if I just uh, clear that down, into nominal ledger. And then we go into enter transactions. And there's one in there for previous year journal entry. So if you do have any journals there, you would have to put them in there. Of course, it's not ready yet, so I can't do that first. So what we're going to do now is actually run the year end. OK, so we're going to run the year end. Give me a second. And we're going to go to year end. So of course that is in nominal ledger, period end routines and year end. Now I know I've closed all my systems off. So now I'm up to period 12, I'll clear period 12 off. So you have to confirm first that you've run the final trial balance, run the financial statements and all the reports are required for the year. So of course we click OK. And that will then run the year end. Again, this depends on how much data you have in your system. This could take two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20. It depends on the size of your data. Hopefully mine shouldn't take too long because I don't have that much data in my trial database, my test database. So you can see that it's creating periods for nominal counts. We'll just give it a second. While it's doing that, what I'll mention is once you've completed year end, there is one extra feature you have to complete or we recommend that you do is the nominal ledger account maintenance option of your period end routines and it'll archive all your previous entries and all your transactions. We're going to do that next anyway. So just wait for it to finish. So just waiting. So it's going to produce my nominal year end report. So it says 
which is when you check and make sure accounting periods for the next financial year have been correctly set up. Would you like to amend the accounting period? So I'm going to just say yes to that. And I can see that I've got on my future. So I'm just going to open all these. So I can see there my next period, open all. They're all set to period one. Just gives it a second and you can see they're paid. Of course, you can open multiple periods depending on how many you've got set up. So you could go to three, four, five if you've got those set up. And then it says verify data financial routine. So I'm just going to come out of that. And where we go to now is we go into nominal ledger, period end routines and account maintenance. And you get two bits here. The one we want to do is we don't want to do the top one. We just want to do the remove profit and loss transactions from previous financial year. Take that and click OK. And that'll archive or remove the previous year's transactions, depending on what they are. That's now complete. That is now a complete year end done and dusted. So now at this point, you can start doing transactions in the new financial year. I hope that's helped. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get into the support team. We're always willing to help. Thank you for listening and goodbye.